Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to Online Worship with Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. I'm Reverend Meredith Manning Brown, our lead pastor, and on behalf of Reverend Margaret Ann Jessup, our associate pastor, all of our staff, and all of the people who are leading worship today, we welcome you. It is our honor to lead you in worship, and we are so glad that you are here. It is an exciting day. This is the third Sunday in Advent. Our theme is the journey to joy, and we are going to be led in worship today by some very joyful people, children and youth of our Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church family with a wonderful presentation of our message, with some beautiful music, with Advent candle lighting, all of those things. So it is a great day to be together in worship today. We will be lighting Advent candles as a part of worship today. So if you have an Advent wreath, we encourage you to get that out and get your candle lighter ready. If you don't have an Advent wreath, just grab a candle if you have one, a flashlight, something, so that you can join with us in lighting candles at the beginning of the worship service. That will be happening very soon. Now, I want to encourage everyone, of course, to fill out our contact form. It is pinned right in the comment section. If this is our, your first time joining with Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church in online worship, I want to especially welcome you and encourage you to fill out that contact form. This is so that we can connect with you, that we can pray with you, that we can help connect you with mission and ministry and service opportunities and small groups, all of those things. There's also a place there for you to put prayer requests that go right to our pastors and to our prayer team. So everyone, please use that contact form today. Now, when we do gather together for online worship, we covenant and promise together to fully participate and to be a blessing. And that covenant to participation is that we are going to participate. Uh, when it's lighting candles, go ahead and light a candle. When it's time to pray, pray. When we're singing, sing. Go ahead and close down other distractions and devices and really focus in for this time of worship together. And then we covenant together to be a blessing as well. That the way that we are in the comments section today uh, together, the way that we are with the people that are in our household, that we're with our community, that all of that is an incredible blessing to everyone who is involved. So that's our covenant to participate and to bless. Now, of course, when we gather together, we're not just random people watching video. We are the body of Jesus Christ. And so we share the love and peace of Jesus Christ with one another. We say, peace be with you and respond and also with you. I encourage you to do that in the comment section, to do that with folks you may be gathered with, to do that with me here on the screen. And we're going to be led by some very special folks with our Tuesday morning Bible study. Peace be with you. This is Martha Clark in the Tuesday Morning Bible Study. Peace be with you. And also with you. This is Janet Schmidt joining by phone. Peace be with you. And also with you. This is Ed Boer. Peace be with you. And also with you. This is Ruth Holtz on the phone. Peace be with you. And this is Gwen Lewis. Peace be with you. And no. also with you with you and also with you this is barb eldridge i'm joining by phone peace be with you and also with you this is marion stone from galesburg illinois a former douglas regular peace be with you and also with you this is jim bogue i'm in that apartment on my bike peace be with you and also with you. This is Ellen Dixon, part of this Bible study on Tuesday. Peace be with you. And also with you. This is Pastor Meredith with the Tuesday morning Bible study. Peace be with all of you. Great job, y'all.
Montgomery family. I'm Eowyn. This is Lincoln. I'm Jacob. And we are going to do the Advent wreath candle lighting today. We invite you to have your Advent wreath candles ready and join us in lighting the first, second, and third candles. Today is the third Sunday of Advent. During the season of Advent, we get ready to celebrate Jesus' birthday. And we get ready for Jesus to come again into our world to make all things new. We want to see beauty around us, so many of us decorate for Christmas. To lighten the darkness. To bring beauty in the middle of this trying time. We decorate because it's tradition. Because it lifts our hearts. Because it makes us feel like children again. The prophet Isaiah smiled when he said, God will give a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, a mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. No matter how far we may feel from God's spirit, God promises to decorate us with love and joy. We light these three candles as a sign of hope, a sign of love, and a sign of joy. Please light your candles too. Let these lights be a guide to help us see Jesus, our hope for the world, the way of our love, and the joy of beauty shared in service and hospitality. Please pray with me. O oh God of joy, help us delight in your vision for your world, where gladness replaces anxiety and praise replaces fear. Be born among us, that all the world may be made anew. Amen. Good morning. I'm Janet Schmidt, and I am the organist at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. Please join me in singing our opening hymn, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. is the prophet Isaiah, chapter 61, verses 1 through 4 and 10 through 11. The prophet Isaiah announces the good news of God's deliverance. Let us open our hearts to hear what God is saying to us through this reading. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and released to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to provide for those who mourn in Zion, to give them a garden instead of ashes, to oil the gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit, 
They will be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord to display his glory. They shall build up the ancient ruins. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities, the devastations of many generations. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord, for my whole being shall exalt in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robes of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels, for as earth, earth brings forth its fruits, and as a garden causes what is sown and it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. Good morning. Would you please join the praise band and me as we sing Joy to the World, Unspeakable Joy.
and people of all ages to get in really close to your screen and your device. It is time for our children's program. It is being led by children and youth of Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church and is being kicked off by Miss Laurie, our Director of Children and Youth Ministries, and of course her wonderful assistant, Laud the Lamb. So come in close everyone for this beautiful special presentation. Hi everybody. It is Miss Lori and Laud, and we had an interesting thing this year. We all know it's 2020, it's COVID, and the question soon became, how can we do a children's Christmas program while following all of the social distancing guidelines? We had to think outside the box a little, actually a lot, but we have a children's Christmas program and we hope you enjoy the program. I would like to thank you all of the parents who helped with this and all of the parents who allowed us to come and video outside their doors, on their doorsteps and in their homes. Without you, obviously this wouldn't be possible. So thank you guys so much and enjoy the show. Bye. The streets are packed with travelers here for the census. That's right. No matter your view on the census, Caesar says we must be counting, so we count. Before we get on an update on the Hebrew prophecy proclaiming to come on the new king for the Jewish people, I understand we are going live to our other reporter on the street. It appears we have a quite a pile on the main road into Bethlehem. Are you there, Karis? I'm here at the scene, Arya. It's been reported that distracted riding was the cause of the accident, which had over 50 camels involved. Authorities say the number, of in number injured is at 75, and that number is expected to rise. Authorities are advising you to avoid this area and, if possible, detour through the fields where shepherds are abiding and keeping watch on their flocks. Let's head over for to Chloe for a report on what's causing this distracted riding. Yes, Karis. Writers are telling me that they are being distracted by the magnificent star that has settled over the city. They say they just, they just can't stop looking at it. Many involved in the accident are families and young couples looking for a place to stay. For more on this, let's check in with Maria. Thank you, Chloe. From what I've been told an hour ago, one or two inns still had rooms available, but by now, I'm sure most have reached capacity and people are being turned away. Our cameras have decided to follow one couple on their journey to find a room. Joseph and his wife, Mary, have just entered the city, and to make matters worse, she's expecting a baby any time now. Welcome to Bethlehem. Do you have 
any room in your inn? No, sorry, I have to go check with the sheep. Oh, okay. Ma, well, they're not talking about me. Okay, we'll come back in, Liz. Okay. Rose penguins? Probably, it's 2020. Okay. any room at your inn? No. no. Okay. Where should we go next? The place across the street? Okay. okay. We'll go down there. Okay. Hello. Do you have any room at your inn? No, but if you go right up the street, they can help you. Oh, okay. Let's go up the street. This is what you've been looking for. You are welcome. Thank you so much. This is perfect. Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing, the baby awakes. But little Lord Jesus, no crying he down from the sky and stay by my cradle till morning is nigh. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in thy tender care and fit us for heaven to live with thee there. Each week during the Advent and Christmas seasons, we are having a special presentation by somebody in our congregation sharing about a Christmas ornament, a favorite thing, Christmas decoration that they have, and telling us a story. Today, that special witness is being brought to us by one of our youth, Joy Brown. Hello, everyone. My name is Joy Brown. I am a member of Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. I am also a member of the DAUMC Youth Group, and I am also a lay member to annual conference. My favorite Christmas decoration is this advent calendar. It's a very special calendar to me and my family. My grandmother made it for my uncle and my mom when they were really little kids, and it got passed down to me when I was born, and now Karis and I share it. And like all advent calendars, you do a special thing every day. And this one's really cool because it's a tree and you hang ornaments on as the days go by. So, you would take the ornament out, and this one's a little fish, and it has a pin in it because it's old school, and you have to be really careful not to prick yourself, and you hang it on the tree, and that's the ornament for that day. And on the 24th, there's a really special ornament, and it is this golden star, and it goes up 
on the top of the tree, on the 24th. Now, this really brings me joy because it's hung in like the middle of the house and I see it a lot every day. And I pass by it and I'm like, count, I'll count down the days to Christmas, so like 15 days to Christmas, 14 days to Christmas. And it's really exciting because it's like, it's almost Christmas time. And it's also really nice because it reminds me of my grandmother who's now passed and my uncle. And though he lives in Texas and he's still around, but like, it reminds me of my family. As we come into our time of prayer, I encourage you to focus and center yourself as we enjoy this beautiful piece of musical prayer offered to us by Gabe and Juliet. Christ, whose glory fills the skies, Christ, the everlasting light, there some of righteousness arise and triumph o'er these shades of night. And come thou Good morning. My name is Reverend Margaret Ann Jessup, and I am the associate pastor here at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. I'm so glad that you have joined with us today in worship, and I'm so glad to be together in this time of prayer as we join our hearts together with the heart of God. So please bow your head as we pray. Good and gracious God, we ask today that you gather us into your presence. Draw us from the living rooms, our kitchens, our car radios, or for wherever we find ourselves, draw us together that we might find comfort in your presence. Help us find your joy even in this time. We come to you when so much of our world feels unfamiliar. You know that for many of us, our Christmas celebration and plans have changed. Holiday shopping and gatherings are on hold or are being done differently. We miss opening our doors for friends and families and neighbors and setting tables for fewer people and skipping holiday parties is difficult. And God, you know, the state of our holiday plans really seems trivial. And we know that because we also know that your people have faced layoffs, diagnosis, depressions that they didn't expect, and so many troubles. Your people have seen uncertain transitions and witnessed the uncovering of widespread injustices in our world over these last months. And we have all awoken every morning for months with the reality of this ongoing pandemic, a new story, oh God, that just won't quit. Despite the cheer of this season, which we usually find, you know how easy it is, oh God, for us to feel discouraged and skip that joy. So in our discouragement, we need you. 
Help us to reset our minds and our hearts to see the good news and to see the joy that is around us anyway because of you. Bring our minds, call our hearts, all that you have blessed us with. Remind us of that, O oh God. We're thankful for the technologies that have helped connect us and our loved ones, even those that we have lost in touch with. For that, O oh God, we find joy in thanksgiving. We're thankful for communities like this church, like Douglas Avenue, that has kept on feeding the hungry, employing those that are struggling, welcoming the stranger, loving the addict, and proclaiming the good news of you, of you, O oh God, through our online worship and through our actions as a church. We're thankful for the moments of quiet with you, the blessings that some of us have found in the slower pace of this world, for the relationships that we have maintained and fostered even through this time. We're grateful for the ability to trust in you and grieve what's lost and remember what truly matters. We're thankful for you as we know that you are with the sick. You are with those that have COVID, the grieved, the depressed, the unemployed, the lonely, the imprisoned, and the anxious. We know that you are there, O oh God. We know that you're on the journey with us all, with the healthcare workers and teachers, essential workers and justice seekers. As we wait, we are grateful and we seek your joy. As we wait for the celebration of the birth of Christ in our lives, the one whose advent we eagerly seek, O oh God, we are thankful and our hearts are with joy. With our love and gratitude, O oh God, we say together the prayer that you taught us to pray, and we will say it with great joy on this morning. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And I do ask or invite you to continue to share your personal prayer request. Um, you can do that on the contact form or you can call the church office and our prayer team and the pastors will continue to pray for your individual needs. Thank you. It is a joy to be generous. Generosity breeds joy and joy breeds generosity. And it is this time now where we celebrate how generous you have been in your offerings to Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. Your financial giving is making all of these ministries that we are doing uh, to a possible and a reality from our online worship to small groups, to service and ministry and outreach into our community. Thank you for the way you have been such joyful givers. I encourage you to continue in that joyful generosity. You can share your financial gifts using our online giving portal. The link for that is pinned right in the comment section. It's available also off our web page. You can uh, send in your donations and gifts using your own uh, financial institution or our financial institution with some automatic giving options. Just call us in the church office to help set those up. And of course, you can send in your checks right to the church office. We are in the midst of some special mission giving as well right now with Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. Our Christmas mission offering is being designated to go to the Santa Express program of Chaddix Children's Home as well as to the Helping Hands Homeless Ministry right here in Springfield. We encourage you to give to those special offerings. You can do that, of course, with the online giving portal. There's a special drop down under special offerings for that. And of course, to send in your checks to the church office, just put in the memo line, Christmas mission offering, and we will get those going the right direction. We're going to uh, receive some special information about one of those right now about the uh, Santa Express with Chaddock Children's Home brought to us by Shauna Bunnell. Hi, this is Pastor Shauna Bennell from Chaddock, and I wanted to take a moment to invite you to join our Santa Express program this year. 
Santa Express is the way that we provide gifts for the nearly 400 children in our care. And we could not do that without churches and individuals from across the state that step up to adopt one or more of our kids for Christmas. We recognize that this is a difficult year and there's challenges to shopping and Christmas gifts. So on our website, you will find several different options of ways that you can participate. You can also call me and I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. My information is below and we thank you and want to wish you a Merry Christmas from all of us at Chaddock. Merry Christmas! 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 Please stand and join us in singing our final hymn, I Want to Walk as a Child of the Light. Thank you so much for joining in this wonderful celebration of online worship with Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. It has been a joy to worship together today on this Sunday in this season of Advent. I want to encourage you, of course, again, to fill out that contact form to remember that there's a place there for your prayer requests that go right to our pastors and to our prayer team. And let us connect with you uh, so that we can help you and walk beside you and grow with you in faith and love of Jesus Christ. We love you. We miss, of course, getting to see you face to face. But we are so grateful that we have these opportunities to worship together online and to connect online in all of these different ways. I encourage you to look forward to the week of Christmas with multiple special worship offerings. All of that information is on our webpage and in other announcements. So please pay attention to those and join us for online worship. And now as you go into the rest of your day, Go knowing the joy and love of God in Jesus Christ and the power of the Holy Spirit to lighten the darkness and to call you forward into joyous worship and service. Go in peace to love and serve your God. Amen.